many people who play Halo, Infinite Online are having connection problems from time to time. In this video, we'll show you what you can do if Halo Infinite's multiplayer mode isn't working for you. Before you do any more advanced troubleshooting on your PC or console, you should close the game and start it up again. This is helpful, especially if your device has been running for a long time. Halo Infinite's multiplayer mode is only available online, so if you're having trouble playing it, the first thing you should do is check the game servers, like the servers for any online game. Halo Infinite's may go down sometimes. If the Halo Infinite multiplayer not loading problem isn't going away soon, you should check to see if it's a problem with the server. To do this, go to the official Halo Infinite support site if you own an Xbox. You should also check Xbox.com to see if there are any problems with the Xbox Live service. Whether you're playing Halo Infinite on a PC or a console, you need to make sure your internet connection is working. This may seem obvious, but some players may skip this answer. You need to open some more websites or download some files. You can also check your internet speed by running a speed test. A speed test can be done on both a PC and a console. So it's a great way to see if your device is connected to the internet. If you can't get websites to load or if your download and upload speeds are slow, that should give you a clue about where the problem is. If you can connect to websites just fine, rebooting your network equipment may fix the problem with Halo Infinite multiplayer not loading. Sometimes, all it takes to fix a problem with an online multiplayer game is to restart the network equipment. Turn off your equipment and unplug its power cord from the outlet for 30 seconds to properly reboot and refresh its system. Even though installing updates is easy and routine, many PC gamers forget to do it. In reality, one of the best ways to get rid of problems is to make sure your software, apps, and games are running smoothly. Both Xbox Game Pass and Steam will check for game updates by default. To download and install these updates, all you have to do is make sure your computer is connected to the internet. Network adapters don't need to be updated very often but it doesn't hurt to double check to see if there are any new drivers for your system. If you usually use Windows Update to install updates for your PC, then the drivers for your network adapters are probably already up to date. Here are the steps to take. Press the Windows key on the keyboard, type in Control Panel and select Control Panel. Change the view by drop down to small icons and click on Device Manager. Once the Device Manager is open, click the drop down for Network Adapters. Find your network adapter and right click on it. Select update driver. Select search automatically for drivers. If your PC is having trouble connecting to the network, you might be able to fix it by resetting its network settings. Keep in mind that if you reset your network settings, any saved Wi-Fi passwords on your computer will be lost. Before you do the steps, you should save a copy of your Wi-Fi password. What you have to do is, on your keyboard, Press the Windows key plus I to open the Windows Settings menu. Go to Network and Internet. Select Advanced Network Settings. Click on Network Reset. Confirm your action by clicking Yes. How to change the DNS server settings on PC. Press the Windows key on the keyboard. Type in Control Panel and select Control Panel. Change the view by drop down to Category and click on Network and Internet. Click Network and Sharing Center. Click on your connection type. Click Properties. Double click on Internet Protocol version 4. Select use the following DNS server addresses and change the preferred DNS server accordingly. Most people use the Google DNS servers but other companies like Cloudflare and OpenNS are equally fine. Check the box next to validate settings upon exit and then click OK to confirm the changes. problem hasn't been fixed yet, we also suggest that you log out of your Xbox account and then log back in. This might work if the problem is caused by a bug in your credentials or if the Xbox app or Steam client is broken. You should reinstall the game as a last resort. This can be a good solution if the problem is caused by something deep in the game's software. 
That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it if you can leave a like, subscribe to our channel, or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making sure that Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.